one here with a drop test video and we kind of disintegrated this thing yesterday with a full-on 20 minute destruction and review of this crappy Samsung. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop test it with the retriever and everything and give her we'll keep going until she's completely obliterated or she doesn't turn on anymore. We'll be right back to you at the job site. All right so we got the phone and something stupid that I decided to do because Rochelle got a lack of Chicago Cubs coverage. Who cares about that right now? Uh, so we're going to do the basic uh, drop my phone drop. That's that one in the tree. All right, where? Let me see. Yeah. It's here. My hands can't in gate control. And these two stores stay together. Normally these two are the things that are farther from on the source. I'm um, sending down the retriever. Right, Lovely sky. Bridge cloud. But we'll ignore that. Down she goes. Alright, so what essentially what happened is nothing much, just some more scuffing. Corner scuffing there. Uh, the screen is now more screwed up. Uh, yep. So here we go, and I need you to turn down the tweet down there, alright? So spinny test. Oh, that was a fail. <laughs> yeah, it stayed close. Yeah. So, another retriever. Don't catch it on the wire again. Will he be able to do it this time? Oh, it's swinging a bit close. Swinging a bit close. Can he correct it? Oh, 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 he touched, he touched it, he touched it. He turned on the lights again. I'm not turning on the lights. <laughs> the light keeps on every time you hit the wire. It's a sensor. So it says that every time the wire gets hit. Uh, no, when it gets dark enough, I'm going to Then why does it keep changing? Up here comes the jelly bean Lexus. So we're going to do a remake on the spinny. That didn't go too well, so. Yeah, by about a foot or two. He eh. asked me if it, let's see if I could get this to turn on. Oh, that's right. That's not supposed to be like that. Okay. Now, where is the blade power button? Aha, up there's the blade power button. Now hold and load. Here you have glowing. It's glowing. Yeah, it's a glowing. It's on. All right, what's the damage report, though? Well, Cracks. It sparkles as I poke it. Looks like somebody threw petroleum or or is on a seared case of acid. What's the screen? The, like the actual plastic screen. Plastic screens probably scratches when you were rolling around and it just vibrated in my hand. Yep. Right on the screen. If you actually managed to on, I think you managed to crack all the way through through it. Uh the bit you cracked the camera lens. <laughs> on the other side and the light just turned off. Thank you, light for, thank you light for turning off for no reason and turning off for no reason, except for what Carl has set wire. All right, so warped, quite best goofing. Looks like the charging port still wor would work. So that still swings. Uh, need, no, that's a bad. All right, battery is warped. Well. Drop down the retriever, that way I can put the casing in. I want you to do that. 
Yeah, why don't you put, bring down the retriever so I can put the casing in that way and try to juggle that stuff. Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm stepping on the. Wire. You turned the light on. John, you need to stop on stepping <laughs> over the light. Well, it turns on only when you hit the wire. It only turns on when you hit that bloody wire. That's what? That whatever that wire hits, it turns dark enough for it. Yeah, because that doesn't happen anywhere else. All right. Now. Does this turn on? Do da do da di da di di da di da di da do. I have no clue where I'm going. And she's like chicken. She's on. No, she's like chicken. That means he's dead. And you turned the light on again. All right. <laughs> I'm not a basketball player, Carl. I can't reach the nine. I'm not a dwarf fighter. I'm not a dwarf! Don't make me ride this! Whee! Whee! <laughs> Give an evil! Oopity, 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 oop, boop, boop. Everyone's back off. Alright, let's do it. I think that might be a bit big for the hay. I don't think we got a hay sack big enough for that. Recording? Yeah, we're recording. Alright. So what we're going to do, as you saw this in my season one finale, this is not a finale, but we're going to poke holes through the phone. You did that with a battery inside? Do you realize how stupid of an idea that was? Yeah, I know, but it won't be too much. Are you trying to till the ground? <laughs> I'm kind of doing it in the process. Right now we have a stuck phone and a pitchfork. Oh. So yeah, there we go. By the looks of the phone, it is punched completely for the speaker, or the circuit board, and the speaker is right there. Uh, this kind of set this thing to its final days. You can literally see inside the phone right here. Yep. Here's your processor. Yeah, we go. Uh, let's see. Oops. Actually, the battery ain't too hot. Let's go ahead and put it over here. Safety. Let it sit that, there for two That hours. way it blows up the driveway instead? Well, there's nothing much flammable there, so it's the better put place to put it. Should we give it one last punch? Yeah, might as well. Ah. Oh yeah, this is actually... It's the actual processor chip. I, okay, let's see if I can do this right there. Oh yeah. Striking that processor chip. Now let's see. Well, the processor chip seems to be enlarged. Um, I might actually be able to take out the processor. Don't do this at home because these objects are really, really sharp. And we are professionals. Yes. That brings us back to the original episode of this. But here we are. This is your processor chip. You can look there, you see the bunch of numbering codes and stuff. All right, this is your camera lens, or what was to be the camera. Um, here's a front facing camera right there with little the button still moves, but it doesn't work. But you can still function these buttons without much of a problem. So, yeah, yeah you're going to change the volume on that. Yeah, I know, right? Um, let's just take a look at the screen. So the plastic really, these are the best actual screen resistant phones, even though they scratch like hell. But, uh. Yeah, they're quite durable. But if you put the, if you drop a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge up there, it will probably drop and shatter. These things, you literally have to shove holes through it with the famous uh, pitchfork. Pitchfork of technology, Dad. Mm -hmm. You're like a four pronged version of Satan, that's why. You're the Satan of technology. So yeah, the here's actually the four. plastic panel itself. You can see why it holds together so well. There's simply not much shattering to be done here. It just kind of flakes off. But yeah, 
that was uh, utter destruction and I destroyed this thing after two videos one being 20 minute long and this one being a little over 10 yeah so yeah this thing for being how crappy it is and two dollars was definitely worth our entertainment and i hope it's yours too this is awesome toad 21 here along with skeleton key hello sorry about uh, the awkward shift if a couple of times but computers be computers yep and he's usually busy but we were able to fuse this guy in this is awesome toad 21 here be sure to subscribe check out my instagram check out skeleton key if you can he's very <laughs> let's turn off and he's quite secretive so you barely can find him anywhere this is awesome toad 21 here have a nice day